Okay, my name is Chan. I'm from uh, Cisco Networking Academy. This is our website. All right, today we're going to talk about the switching lab we're going to do uh, in today. Eh? So, on the first lab, you have, uh, I'm going to download everything into a Google Drive. You can upload it from the video mm. link. Okay, you have a switch here. So what you can do on this switch, actually, on this switch, actually you can uh, create VLANs, all right? So on this switch, how do you create VLAN? You just uh, specify uh, on the switch, specify a label, uh, then a config term, then uh, you uh, after that you go into the config mode, you can just create VLAN 10. Then you will be in the config VLAN mode where you have uh, you can put the name uh, let's say name is ten. Let's say that. Okay. Okay. Then the next thing is uh you need to set the let's say this is FA01. How do you you assign the VLAN to a switch port? This is how you do it. You do a enable switch port. Mode access Okay. This is how you do to assign the particular port to a particular VLAN. So now what happens is that you already segment the switch into two parts. Alright? Only within the same VLAN, you can ping. All right. Between VLANs, you need to routing is required. Okay. Between VLANs. So in this case, there's no router, isn't it? So these two VLAN is isolated. So only these two PC can bring each other. These two PC can bring each other. Okay? The rest of the PC cannot ping. These two cannot ping each other. Okay? Because they are in the different VLAN. Okay? You want them to ping each other, you need a routing. Okay? So there is lab number one. Okay? In this port mode, the port mode is uh, access. Access means it's from switch to PC. Okay? Switch to PC. Okay? Alright, uh, let's move to lab number two. Lab number two is like this.
you let them through, you have the topology that looks like this. This is uh, VLAN 10, VLAN 20. Then here you have VLAN 10, VLAN 20. Okay. So when this PC send a packet to here, send a frame to here, once this, this packet cross over here to here, this switch, switch B, doesn't know which VLAN this packet belong to, correct? Doesn't know which VLAN. Okay? When this packet send over to this switch, received by this switch B. This one doesn't know which VLAN is it in, okay? So what they do is that over here, you have what you call an access port. So in over here, you configure so that when this packet reaches here, you're going to classify it into VLAN 10. Alright? Okay, so this is an access port. So when this packet go in here, you classify it as a VLAN 20, right? Which you specify in your port, isn't it? Let's say over here is like this. So interface FA01, switch port, uh, access, VLAN 10, that's it, okay? So from this command, they know already that if you receive a packet from this port, if you receive a frame from this port, you will classify it as VLAN 10, right? So this is classified on the port level, okay? So it's coming and going out from here. If it's going out from here, it must be coming from port 10. So whenever you have an access port, you will receive and send frame untapped okay so once it reaches here this port is connecting switch to switch so this one will be a trunk port all right so whichever packet here from coming from here how do we know that it's vlan 10 or vlan 20 so we're going to add a tag here a tag here a vlan tag on each frame, we're going to add a VLAN tag here. So whenever it reaches switch B, it knows to put to give to this PC. Alright? So on the trunk port, what it means is that you will send and receive frame with tag. Okay? With a VLAN tag. That's the meaning of That's the meaning of uh, trunk port. So how do you configure trunk port? Let's say over here, you select interface FA024, switch port, mode trunk, then you put uh, switch port trunk, allow let me see the command. Eh? <coughs> Allow VLAN, you can specify whatever VLAN you want. You will not all. That means that you specify to allow all the trunk port to be. So in this case, uh, all the ports will be in. That means VLAN 10, it can be forwarded to here because the trunk allow you to trunk VLAN 10 there. Okay? Clear? Clear? Okay. Alright. So this is left 2. Huh? Okay, left 3. 
Lab three, you have like this. Okay, so in this case, what happened is that <coughs> Okay, so what you're going to do is that uh, you're going to make this one as trunk pot, okay? And all the rest here will be excess pot, okay? So the definition of excess pot is that excess, you will send and receive untapped. So you have trunk pot you will send and receive tag okay so let's say so over here you got to give the default gateway 10.254 and over here you give the default gateway 20.254 okay you configure everything and make sure this one the access is in VLAN 10. This one, the access port is in VLAN 20. So what happens if uh, if this PC ping this PC? If this PC ping this PC, what will happen? The traffic will go like this. The traffic will go like this. Huh? Okay, it will go like this, and the return traffic will go like this. Okay, that's how the traffic will go like. Okay, all right. So basically, if you can ping everything, that means your lab is configuration is correct. Like, all right. <laughs> okay, now let's go to the next lab. Okay, next lab is uh, routing by the stick. Alright, uh, lab 4. So we have a router here. First, switch here. Okay. Uh, the rest of the part is the same as the previous lab. The only thing is that this one is uh, in the in round. There's only one port. So in this case, there's something different is that this one is in the trunk port. So what happens if you want to route between these two? 
you're going to route like this, come back like this. Okay? So in this case, uh, what happened over here on this router, you have interface FA 0.10, which is a, a interface FA 0.20. So this is a sub interface. Okay? So since this is a trunk port, the packet will be sent with a tag. So if it's a tag 10, it will be forwarded to FA00.10. And if it's a tag 20, it will be forwarded and sent to this one, interface FA020. Okay? Alright, clear. How does the command? So this one will be in the trunk port. Uh. So this one will be routing at the stick, or you can call it a one-arm router. <laughs> right. So the configuration. Let me give it to you. So we can first do like interface FA00, no shut. Then, uh, then what you're going to do is interface FA00.10. Then you do encapsulation, encapsulation dot 1Q10. So this is a VLAN 10. Uh, VLAN 10. Then you can give IP address. Okay. Then everything, this PC and this PC, will be able to ping each other. Okay, I think we stop here for a while. Otherwise, you get too crowded your mind. Okay, we're going to uh, continue with another video. Okay, thank you.